everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. <coughs> Today's the Bible title is Chapter 10. Moses saw the flames of the bush. Exodus chapter 2 to 4. Moses became 40 years old. Moses knew that he was an Israel living in Egypt. One day, he saw an Egyptian hitting an Israel. He was mad and killed the Egyptian. The Egyptian Pharaoh tried to catch Moses. Moses ran away. Time had passed. Moses got married and became a shepherd. Moses was 80 years old. Moses was sad. He missed the people of Israel in Egypt. They were slaves in Egypt. Moses was taking care of his sheep. He was sad because of the Israels in Egypt. Moses said to himself, My people are suffering all day because of the king of Egypt. How can I help them? Moses was taking care of his sheep one day. Something strange happened then. A bush was on the fire, but it did not burn. God spoke to Moses from the bush. Go back to Egypt. Bring my people out of Egypt. You will go into Canaan as a promise to Abraham long time ago. Moses was afraid. He didn't want to do this job. He knew that Pharaoh would try to kill him. But God showed him the miracles to in Moses. God also led his brother Aaron to go with him. Aaron spoke well. Moses Cornelius went to Egypt. Moses was going to the, to bring God's people out of the Egypt. Moses was going to do as God says. Chapter 11. The king says no. Exodus chapter 5 to 12. Let God people go, said Moses. We want to leave Egypt and worship God. Please let my people go now. No, the, she said the parrot. God said you must let us go, said Moses again. Don't. I don't care what your God says, said the star-born the paro. paro. Paro made the Israel work harder. The God people of Israel couldn't have enough time to eat. God told Moses what to do. Paro will be mean to you and the people, but don't worry. They will soon know that I am the Lord of Israel. Moses said, let my people go many times, but the king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, your people have to work for me. Trouble things began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Frogs were everywhere in Egypt. Dust became ants and lice. Flies came all over. After nine trouble disasters, one last horrible thing happened. The firstborn son in each Egyptian, including the Paro's son, died.
morning was here. Everyone in Egypt at last power called Moses and Aaron. Go, said the king. Take your people out of the Egypt. The king was not set the barn anymore. God showed that he is greater than the king. Chapter twelve. The Israel came out from Egypt. Exodus chapter thirteen to fifteen. God's people came out of Egypt. The Israel were out of the of Egypt with God's help. God let Moses let the Israel. They knew God was with them. God stayed with them in the cloud. God was always with them. God showed them where to go. God showed a pillar of fire every night. After the people of Israel let Pharaoh change his mind, he followed the Israels with his soldier. The Red Sea was front of the Israel. They couldn't cross the sea. Then they couldn't run. To Egypt, Paro and his army were following them. They were going to kill God's people. Moses said, "Don't be afraid. God will God will save us." The pillar of cloud stayed between the Israel and the Paro's army. When Moses raised the staff, they. Became the path to the other side of the sea. Then Israel followed the path and crossed the Red Sea. Paro and his army were following them. When the Israel crossed the Red Sea, Moses raised the stuff over the sea again. He, the sea swept Paro's army away. God. Was what the Israel? God's people were free; they were not slaves anymore. Moses and the Israel sang and danced joyfully. They praised God. Thirteen chapter foot from heaven Exodus fifteen to sixteen. I am thirsty," said a little girl. I am too," said the father. "We don't have any water. We are not the slaves of Egypt, but we don't have water." The Israels traveled in the desert for many days. They were thirsty. They were. They complained to Moses. The Israel kept going on. Water, water! They shout with joy. The people ran to the rock water to, but they got angry. They found the water of Mara, but the water was so bitter to drink. God said to Moses, "Throw a piece of wood into the water." Yes, Lord. Moses did what God said. Guess what? The water became sweet. People were amazed with God, and drank the water happily. I am hungry," said the little boy. "We are hungry too, but there's nothing to eat," said his mother. The Israel began to complain Moses again. "We are starving." Starving to death, Moses prayed to God again. Moses said, "God will give you food." God sent down food like draw from heaven, even every eve morning. People collected the food manna. They didn't know what it was, but it was like cookies with honey. God fed the clots of Israel every day. 
Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time we are going to read 14 chapter. God's rule, Exodus 19 to 20. Yeah, then see you next time.